witness to Starbucks Karen firsthand today. Yeah, that's effed up. That's a Karen at a Starbucks deciding that because she had been told to leave or they had some sort of problem with her. She is just going to trash the place, making more work for people who are already not paid nearly enough for the work that they do. But but I want you to understand the war on workers, especially in the service industry, in the fast food industry, the Karens are coming for them. That's Starbucks, we've got others. Here's Taco Bell. So this nice young man just informed us that this Karen in the front of the line is cussed them out and they're refusing to serve her. And so she refuses to move. So this is on um, the line. And cameras. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have a man going to talk to this nice young lady, old woman, I mean, Karen. We got tears in the club on this fine night. Tears in the club. And so again, she, she was uh, berated in some way, didn't like it and just decided I am going to stop my car, nobody gets to go. Which is not only terrible to the other customers who wanna get through there, but now workers have to come out and deal with it. And supposedly these workers get support from their company. Starbucks says that they're grateful for our Green Apron partners. Oh green Apron God. partners who by the way, who should not have to deal with this. They're not getting paid enough. They're not supposed to be dealing with either like people lashing out at a society they're mad at or whatever. But they're not also supposed to be trying to get a woman to move her car. Like the worker tried to do it, then a customer went up and tried to talk to her. It took an hour before the police came and she eventually was led away at that point crying. And so we got one more coming up in a minute from Subway, perhaps the most bonkers of all. But Francesca, what do you think about this? I mean, this is why Starbucks workers are unionizing because they don't get a, this is above their pay grade. They don't get paid enough for this crap to be mistreated constantly. I mean, let alone what would compel someone to treat a retail worker with like just like garbage. Like, come on. In this country, we are so spoiled. Honestly, like, we're like so focused on how oh, the customer's always right. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're all that. Like, you know how much it takes to like actually get kicked out of a place? A oh, lot, and we've yeah. seen it. We've totally seen it right now. So just, yeah, Howard Schultz or whoever the hell is in the head of Starbucks, um, stop calling them Green Apron Partners and start yeah. allowing them to unionize, get the shifts that they need. And hey, look, I'm I'm all for fewer um, fewer cops, but I am for if you need a guard, if you need security, you need security, and that is how wor workers. Can actually operate safely so they can help other people and the Karens can have their freak out with security. Yeah, yeah, they're not supposed to be security. I know some people in the in the comments on that said, uh, why aren't they stopping the Starbucks woman? It's not their job to potentially get in a fist fight to protect a company's private property. That's that's not their job at all. And uh, I want the companies to treat them right, but I also want all of us together. I am trying to start a countervailing force to the Karenization of America. Let's stand by workers and it, yes. it, not just at the point where like someone's freaking out and breaking things. Don't talk disrespectfully to people who are just desperately grinding away to survive. Tip workers appropriately. They don't want to be there any more than you do. They're forced to, to survive in our economy. So treat them right. Tip we have one you more even example. Can't tip. Here's the other thing, a lot of fast food places don't have tip jars at all. So mm -hmm. do it anyway. Why not? Who cares if there's no jar? They're not allowed to give it to them anyway. It's, and that's the other BS thing. It's like McDonald's workers also don't allow you to tip. Anyway, keep going. 100%. We're gonna go to one more. Here is a manager recording a TikTok berating an employee. This is the person that thinks that doesn't wanna do his job at work. Yeah. And I'm sick of it. You yeah. can go home, Marcus. You yeah. can go home. You can find no. You an employee, bitch. no one you wants you here. Employee, okay, bitch. but you can go. You can go home. Yeah, I'm gonna say I suspect that that one might not be 100% serious. I don't <laughs> know for sure, and I want to make sure that we're standing up for all workers. That one seemed jokey, but but anyway, the point remains: we have our culture. We have been raised to not give a damn about workers, not about other workers, not about ourselves either. We're not supposed to expect anything for ourselves. We're certainly not supposed to organize. We're not supposed to advocate for ourselves. We're not supposed to expect that politicians would feel any obligation 
to the people that are at anything other than like the top couple positions in a corporation. We need to start to respect ourselves and that should translate into showing more respect for the workers around us. Yeah, and it's part and parcel of our culture really quickly, just a, a, an American culture of like being serviced to like, oh yeah, I deserve all the things. I can just from a click of a button, get my lunch, my dinner, my, eh, my nails done, you do this, you do that. And no matter where you are, right? Like if you're not a millionaire or billionaire, you have that like ridiculous, you owe me something mentality without any humanization for the person on the other yeah. side who's actually working an eight hour shift on their feet, right? With yeah. kids at home and barely able to make ends meet. That's never a calculation. And yet we're so service driven. Oh, I owe I, I'm owed everything. Yeah. And maybe I'm biased because I've worked in basically every aspect of the service industry, but <laughs> you should, like every everybody everybody says it. Everybody should be a waiter for like yes. six months at least to understand. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm a terrible waiter. Oh my god, I'm a terrible waiter. Yeah, really? So oh. I would think that you'd be like cracking jokes, you'd be the fun waiter. Nah. No, because I spill anyway. stuff and I forget stuff and I call people like, <sighs> anyway. It. Oh, it was an exciting time that I'm very glad I don't have to do anymore. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Cast or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.